Crazy wherever he'd go, grabbing his fingers and ruffling his hair. Oh, how they loved Lucky Pierre! They used to treat him like he was a star. Why did they scream at the side of his car? Lining the streets with their hands in the air, yelling for Lucky Pierre. He wasn't the king of the diamond ring. He wasn't the star of the pool. And how can you go on a portfolio? And who ever heard of a cool house of commons? Nevertheless, he's the one we were for. Right from Vancouver to Newfoundland shore, all of us fellows we couldn't compare, and wished we was lucky Pierre. So did the girls under the ocean or up in the air, following Lucky Pierre. He'd blow them kisses, they'd holler for more. They'd climb on the roof and they'd bang on the door. Sadly, he said, "There's no peace anywhere, and I'm not so lucky, Pierre." One day in despair, he took to the air. He vanished away in the blue. Then went to BC, where he met Mrs. P, and all of the girls shouted, "You fuddle duddle, blow on your trumpets and ring on the bell." Finally, someone has broken the spell, given no patience to that lady fair, who saved us from Lucky Pierre. His kids put him one above God. All he was losing, it seemed, was his hair. Happy go lucky Pierre. Suddenly we knew that something was wrong. When Maggie sang Mrs. Castro's song, then they were dumped and got stoned in the air with one of the rolling Pierre. Then Rainy Lebec took over Quebec. He started to make himself king. And Maggie said, "Dear, I've had it to hear. I've just got to do my own thing." You see the movie now that they're showing the house on TV. He's not the fellow that he used to be. One more election and maybe he's through. Then we could say Pierre who. Say Pierre who? 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 Then we could say Pierre who?